Okie dokie, today we have a Fiat Ducato. This is in fact a Peugeot Boxer, but it's, it is a Fiat Ducato. And it's got an airbag problem. Now I've done a scan on it, and as we can see, we've got a little bit of glare, but the body computer is reporting a fault, and so is the instrument panel. If I go down to the port, Okay, and we'll say that the body control module is reporting that there is no airbag and the instrument cluster is also reporting there is no, e uh, no airbag. Now that is because the airbag in fact has been removed. The reason it was removed is because the airbag module, this one, reported an internal fault. Okay, a B1001 internal fault. So it was sent off. Uh, they sent it back and said it's all been repaired. We plugged it all back in and it still failed with internal fault. So sent it back again and then hopefully this time they'll have actually done the job and repaired it. If it hasn't been repaired then this unit is in fact faulty and not repairable. Okay so this is what we're going to do. So that's our two faults. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hand this over to the owner because I'm going to need to... Okay have you got it? Got it. Good. Right, so I'm going to turn the engine. Uh, I'm going to escape from the diagnostics. Escape, escape. Exit. Turn the engine off. Unplug the diagnostic unit. Now on our reader there, we've got 13 volts, so our battery is right up. Okay, so here. Right, so the procedure on one of these is to disconnect the battery. So I'm going to do that first. So that's the battery disconnected. We then take our unit, and bolt it into position. Three bolts, three nuts. One. Two. And the last one, the tricky one. side and plug it in. Whoa. Right. One and two. It'll only plug in one way. You cannot get it wrong. Then we will reconnect the battery. Like so, we'll connect our voltage tester. That just tells us what the battery voltage is. And the battery voltage is 12.8, which is a fully charged battery. Now, back in the vehicle. Leave that cover. Plug in the diagnostics. Until it finishes loading. 
wait for a second beat. One more. Okay, perfect. Now, when we turn the ignition on, we're looking for the airbag warning lights, which are just there. So I'm going to turn the engine on. Okay, so we have an airbag light on. We'll start her up. seconds okay now if we look at our reading we have 14.4 volts so that's we've gone from 12.8 when the engine was off to 14.4 with the engine running we're now going to load the diagnostics for the airbag so i just put that there we're going to do a full auto scan Airbag. So we've seen the airbag and we've got seven faults on the airbag. So we should see one on the body computer and then another one on the instrument cluster. So there we go, so there's our one, so we'll let it finish the scan. The reason there's seven on the airbag is when it went off for testing it didn't have all the components connected to it so it will show uh, lots more faults than there actually are so if we go down the report we are looking for right so here we go b1001 control unit fault internal errors test complete or inapplicable present then all the others are intermittent faults because um, they weren't plugged in okay so what we're going to do we get out of that one we are going to do a quicker raise so to raise it we want to turn the engine off turn the ignition on and a raise still one fault on that airbag which is not good so we have one fault and that fault is Control unit fault, internal error, test complete or inapplicable present. So we still have an issue and the airbag light is still on. Control unit fault, internal errors, test complete or inapplicable present. And that is what we're stuck with. Okay, so I'll have that over here. So we may need to send this to the company. Control unit fault, internal errors, test complete or inapplicable present B1001. So this is what we're at at the moment. So if I go into the freeze frame, resistance value, passenger airbag exclusion is off, disabled from ECU, Air passenger airbag inclusion warning lamp is on. Disabled from ECU, rear side bag is on, fault lamp is on, energy reserve insufficient. Now this, this has got a fully charged battery, and even now it's saying 12.3 volts with just the ignition on. So, I don't know about the, the, the light going off and then coming back on again, it just doesn't go off at all. Um, I hope this helps somebody who has this same problem, sends it off. Uh, it's returned and you have exactly the same fault as when you started. Okay, thanks for watching.